What's up, it's Mandy from AF Times, and I'm here with Kari. Hi. And um, she plays Wonder Woman, and also Bizarro. Yes. And um, this is really cool to interview, because I love when like, you know, the women are like strong, powerful yes. actors. Yes. And so, would you say Wonder Woman was one of your favorite characters growing up? Wonder Woman was by <laughs> far my favorite character oh, that's growing cool. up. Uh, I've collected comic books, and artwork, and figurines, and I have about 20 coffee mugs. <laughs> so, I'm, cool. I'm a huge Wonder Woman fan. This was a big dream come true. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah that's cool to see, because some, like, you know, everyone always loves their roles, but some people are, like, more like, oh my god, like, yeah. fangirling, and, you know, they're so excited. I definitely because, fangirl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and, you know, it's fun that you can work for a long time and still get excited about certain things, so this was a, a fun project to just get really excited and tap into the kid in myself. Right. Oh. How did you create Bizarro? Like, how did you get the influence for that? Oh, you know what, they just showed me a little picture of her and I knew. Yeah. I mean, and I gotta say, I'm a huge Wonder Woman fan, but Bizarra was my girl. <laughs> like, I loved playing her so much and just every time I would do a line for Bizarra, it would make me laugh Aww. because she is so sassy and just unapologetically loving herself. <laughs> it was kind of awesome. That's awesome. So would you say that's kind of like your personality? You like yeah, a little, a little goofier. I would say probably I have a little bit more of Bizarra than Wonder Woman in me, but uh, I think I have little elements of both, which is nice. So do you feel like you have more freedom not being in front of a camera or, you know, or doing voice acting versus live action? You know, they have, I, I wouldn't say pros and cons, but there are differences between one and the other. Personally, I think that there is a lot more freedom voiceover because, um, you know, if I go in for an on-camera thing, I'm not going to be cast as the 80-year-old woman, but if I go in for a voiceover thing, then I can do the 80-year-old woman. Uh, and, yeah, there's just, there's not so much tied in with how you look. It's just right. what you can play and create. So, uh, it's very freeing. You just have to not be afraid to uh, be silly and laugh at yourself, which is sometimes hard for women. And, and uh, yeah, so, but the more ridiculous I've been, the more <laughs> successful it's, it's been. So, yeah, that's the great thing about voiceover. So, um, when you were a kid, did you play with Legos? And, and you said you're a fan of Wonder Woman, so, yeah. Um, I definitely played with Legos. When I was growing up, we just had the buckets, you know? Oh, yeah. So, there was no preconceived notion of what you were going to build. You just had this big bucket of Legos. <laughs> And I kind of miss that a little yeah. bit. I miss the purity of, of this is whatever you want it to be. But they've also done some really amazing things now with, uh, you know, super flyers and yeah, intricate models of things. So Yeah, they're so, like, yeah. intricate now. Okay. Andy, you're just looking like a superhero <laughs> in the outfit. I just can't quite get over it. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. Thank you so much.